Let's look at area and circumference of circles. I want you to take your compass, if you have one, and draw a circle that fits in the space below. I'm going to draw one here. If you have an um, Apple Pencil or a tablet, you can probably draw a circle pretty easily. And then find the diameter of the circle. So you'll need to draw a line that connects across the entire circle and measure it. And um, in my case here, my diameter is just about, oh, it's actually three inches long. So your radius is going to be half of your diameter. So it will be this. So you can see that the radius is half of the diameter. So all you have to do is divide by two. So in my case, since my diameter was three inches, my radius is one and a half inches. So what is the rate relationship between the radius and the diameter? Well, the radius, just like we said, is half of the diameter. Now your circle may be larger or smaller than mine, and that's completely okay. It doesn't have to have the same measurements. So here's the key points here. You already know area when it comes to um, quadrilaterals and triangles. So you know the definition is the number of square units in a shape. Now area is gonna look a little bit different in a circle because it's not a squared off shape. So the formula for finding the area of a circle, the area is equal to pi r square. Pi being the infamous and infinite um, number that you will either be told to use as is on your calculator or oftentimes you'll substitute for just 3.14. So it will be up to your teacher to decide which you're going to use. So and what an easy way to remember this, and I remember this from when I was in middle school, is that pies, actual pies that you eat are circles. Um, so you just kind of put a funny spin on it and say, no, they're not circles. Pies are squared. And if you say that more than once, you'll remember it and you'll be like, no, they're not squares, but they have to be <laughs> for the formula. So pies are squared. That's the formula. Circumference is the circle word for perimeter. It is the distance around a circle. And it starts with C-I-R-C, -C, just like circle does. So if you hear circumference, just think circle around. So it goes all the way around the circle. It's this entire measurement here. Now the formula for finding the circumference, there's actually two. If you have the measure of your diameter, then the circumference formula is simply pi times d. If you're given your radius, then the circumference formula is going to be 2 times pi times r. And the only difference is that 2 times r, twice your radius, is your diameter. So they're basically the same formula. It just They are the same formula. It just depends on whether you're using your diameter or your radius. So let's look and let's explore circumference. So we're going to go back to um, the circle that I drew and the diameter was three inches. So you can either put your own diameter in here or you can just use mine. So you're gonna multiply the diameter by pi. Um, you can either use the pi symbol on your calculator, 3.14, or the fraction, 22 over seven, which is also equal to 3.14, repeating, it's equal to pi. Just be sure to listen to your teacher and read directions carefully to make sure you're using it the correct way. So we are going to say that our circumference is equal to three pi using the pi button, and it is approximately 9.42 inches. And I have the wavy equal sign there because since pi is not a definitive number, then we cannot say that the answer is simply 9.42. It is approximately. So the circumference of a circle, so if you look, our diameter was three, and our circumference is just over nine. 
So we can say that the circumference of a circle is about three times the length of the diameter. It will not be exactly, um, but it is just about. So since you know the relationship between the radius and the diameter of a circle, how could you find the circumference if you are given the radius? All you have to do is simple, simply double the radius, which gives you the diameter, then multiply by pi. So here, let's check really quickly. Um, find the circumference of a circle with a four inch radius. So since it's a radius, we have to do two pi times four. And that will be approximately 25.13 inches. And you can push pause here and work these out yourself and then hit play when you're ready to check your answers. The circumference of a circle with a 10 inch diameter so we only need to do pi times the diameter. It's going to be approximately 31.42 inches. Circumference of a circle with a six and a half inch radius, two pi times 6.5 is approximately 40.84 inches. So going back to the circle that I drew previously, the radius was 1.5 inches. Again, you can use mine or you can use your information. So you're going to multiply the radius by itself and then multiply the product by pi. That's using the formula pi r squared. By multiplying 1.5 by itself, you're squaring it. So a is equal to pi times the radius, 1.5, squared. And that's going to be 7.07 .07 inches squared. Don't forget to square your units there. Since you know the relationship between the radius and the diameter of a circle, how could you find the area if you are given the diameter instead of the radius? Well, since the diameter is twice the radius, you would have to divide the diameter in half, or divide by two. And then you'll be able to use it in the equation. So pause here if you want to work these out yourself and then check. The area of a circle with a four inch radius is going to be pi times four squared, which is about 50 and 27 hundredths inches squared. The area of a circle with a 10 inch diameter, so we have to cut that in half and say five, is going to be pi times five squared, which is going to be 78.54 inches squared. The area of a circle with a six and a half inch radius is going to be pi times 6.5 squared, and that's going to be 132 and 73 hundredths inches squared. So you can refer back to these notes um, when you're working on your homework or your classwork and um, use the formulas and the examples again if you need them.